Hey there friends, thanks for checking in. At one point or another, most of us decided it would be wise to carry a gun. It's a dangerous world out there, very violent, crime happens everywhere. I don't care how safe you feel, what your neighborhood crime statistics tell you, or any of that. Crime can happen anywhere. Why do you suppose every time you turn on the news there's somebody saying, I can't believe what happened. Things like that don't happen around here. Well, yes they do, let's just face the truth. So I want to share with you when I began carrying. Now back in 2000, I became a landlord. It's been a side business for a number of years. I've rented many houses throughout the years and I still do. But I remember I had a vacant house and I received a phone call from a lady. She was the sweetest thing. Oh, that the house is perfect. I saw the pictures. It's so cute. It'd just be me, my husband, and my, my young child. Can I plant flowers? You know, I want to I see the house. And she fooled me. And I made an appointment to show her that house. As I'm waiting for them to show up, a van pulls up and four dudes jump out. They jumped out in an intimidating manner. Real tough guy, you know, tough guys walking around. Is this the house? And, and then she walked out too. Did not look like I thought she would look after speaking with her on the phone, but that's separate. So I'm thinking, this is not a good situation. Here I am with five people in the house. It's completely vacant and I'm very vulnerable. And to top it off, one guy bumps into me. Just kind of nudges up against me. I say, hey, you okay there? Now. I began to feel anxious. I began to feel nervous. I began to feel like I am very vulnerable right now, but I was sure not to show it. Okay, I've always learned, don't show it. Act confident, walk firmly, be confident. And, and I was able to do that. Meanwhile, I'm thinking, what a disparity of force this is. Okay, you've got four guys. And to top it off, they, they get in the house and they spread out. Now, these are common tactics. They start picking things apart. You know, demanding things. Are you going to change out this carpet? Are you going to add a washing machine? Are you, what about this chip in the door? You know, I started hearing this stuff. It's a common tactic. People pick apart the house, then they try to negotiate down the rent. I've seen it a thousand times. And they, they were doing that. But I said, hey, how about if we all stay together, we'll go around the house, and then we can discuss any of the issues that you want to discuss. And they completely ignored me. Started walking around, right around... After five minutes, another guy bumps into me. Now, now I'm thinking, this is a plan. Where exactly is this going and how's it going to end? I am vulnerable. And the lady was no treat either. She was complaining and saying, what do you think about this, Bill? This is no good. And, and I couldn't wait to get rid of them, but I couldn't get rid of them. Okay, when I finally did, I said, okay, we're about ready to wrap it up here. Why don't you guys go ahead and talk about it and, you know, we'll get back in touch. They wouldn't leave. Now, these guys had were following me with my back turned on several occasions. I tried to avoid it, but I couldn't because they spread out. I did not do a good job of organizing the people saying, hey, look, if we're going to do this, we have to do it this way. Or say, hey, you know what, how about two of you come in and everybody else can wait in the van and I'll be happy to show maybe two at a time or, or whatever. I, I would never do that or handle that the way I did today but I had to learn I was a young landlord at the time and I thought to myself the disparity of force here is pretty intense and this could go bad at any given time there was a point I thought it would go bad like they were invading my space one guy got real close to me and I was just standing there like this but I was nervous I, it was you know I was trembling inside but I tried not to show it maybe I did show it I'm not sure but I said to myself, at that time, I will never put myself in this situation again. Now, in 2001, Michigan became a shall issue state. That means that they shall issue you a permit, a carry permit, if you take the training and you're legally qualified. And all the liberals' heads were spinning. They said, oh, it's going to be like the Wild West. This is so terrible. Well, it's been fine. But at that point, I took the training, I received my permit, and I've been carrying ever since every day not when I feel like I'm going into a rough area or when I feel like something bad may happen every day for all those years and you say well why are you making this video nothing bad happened to you well it certainly could have and I know there are a lot of people out there who they did experience some type of violence they did experience crime and so I'm making this to encourage people you know you should 
consider this. If you're not doing it already, you should consider this so that you don't end up in a similar situation or so that you have a means of defense in case there is a disparity of force or somebody wants to attack you or kill you or rape your wife or any, any of all the above. You know, so why? I'll never feel that way again. And yes, it is true. Carrying a gun can be uncomfortable, but it certainly is comforting. I've been carrying ever since. I carry all the time. There have been times when I was glad I had a gun. Never had to use it, never had to point my gun at anybody, but I was glad I had it because some every now and again, something just tells you, I don't like the way this, this whole situation feels. And when you get that feeling, you put your guard up a little bit and you say, I don't like this, I need to be aware. And thankfully I have the gun because it is an equalizer. You know, four guys in one gun. Now I'm not saying I would have pulled the gun on these guys. I'm not saying that at all. But it would have leveled the playing field given that the disparity of force was so strong in that situation. Not always comfortable, but it's definitely comforting. And if you don't carry, I highly encourage you to think about it. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.